Let me tell you about global recognition. The Global Center for Pluralism has announced Deborah Ahinkwa, a young social entrepreneur and book publisher, bringing African stories, uh, African children's stories to life as one of the three winners of the 2019 Global Pluralism Award. The awards recognize actions taken to build more inclusive societies in which human diversity is valued and thrives. This year, the uh, center received over 500 applications spanning uh, 74 countries for the 2019 awards. Joining me in the studio is Deborah Hinkler. Deborah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank and you're you so making much. Ghana proud. So Thank these are some you. of your books. I'd like yeah. for you to tell us about these books. Yes, of course. So this is our very first title, Grammar's List. Okay. So this is by a Ghanaian writer, Portia mm -hmm. Derry, who's from Tamale, and it was a winner of the Golden Baobab Prize, which is the mm -hmm. award that we run across Africa. And um, the, 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 the reason we do the work we do is because we believe so much that it's important for us to balance mm. the content that children are receiving from all over the world. You walk into school libraries, you mm -hmm. walk into bookshops, and you find that there's way more content from outside of Africa than from within Africa. And, and when we do have culturally relevant content, sometimes it's only Ghanaian. So how are our children looking into the continent and learning about other people? Oh, so, so let's focus a bit more on these books. Yeah. So what, what these are books not written by you? No. Okay. Let's help us to understand how it then puts you in the, in the context. Okay. So... Um, my work spans two areas. On the one side, we run a literature prize across the continent okay. to support authors and illustrators who are African to produce books. Okay. On the other side, we publish those books and we make those books accessible right. to children across the continent and around the world. And by so doing that's what that, puts you in. That's what puts us in because okay. what we are saying is that you know, it's important for there to be representation of Africans yeah. in books. It's important for these books to be read by us, but also by children around the world. Because when you do that, we minimize the fear we have of the other. We increase the knowledge that we have about each other and mm. we support literacy. And I like the way you put that, it, so. the fear of the, of the other. Yeah. In fact, the creation of the other is when people are not exposed to information to enough to tolerate Exactly. Uh, the the, the uh, people who are not like us. Exactly. So this is a great intervention, I would say. Tell us about Grandma's List. You said this is written by uh, someone from Tamale? Yeah, from Tamale. So okay. Portia is an incredible writer. Grandma's List has already won several prizes. It's won the Golden Baobab Prize. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. It's also won the AC Sutherland Children's Prize this year as the best children's book in Ghana. And it also won the Children's Africana Book Award as the best children's book from Africa in the US. So we are incredibly proud um, of the work that we've done with Portia, as well as our illustrator from South Africa. And, and all of these books are currently available um, in shops across Ghana. We are in the Methodist Book Depot, we are in various bookstores. And you know, for parents, for teachers, for schools, for people who believe like we do, that mm -hmm. it's important not for our children to only dream dreams, in snowy lands, but to see themselves in books that they love, which mm. are beautiful, which are well created, which are fun, yeah. um, I feel like these books will really hit a spot. Well, you don't, shouldn't just feel it. It is. Because, uh, I mean, you open this book and what you see is a true reflection of any African society. Yeah. I mean, these are pictures that I can relate to when I was a child. And especially because you say, you call it what grandma's list. Yeah. And mm -hmm. when I open it, I see grandma. Yeah. I, I, was, uh, I, I live most of my life with my grandma. Oh, so I can so can relate it. to this book and how grandmas, well, some people say they pump up. My grandma didn't <laughs> pump up me at all. I, I can imagine a stand grandma in yeah. this book. No, this grandma is, is very that? loving. Oh, really she's loving. Such a beautiful well, my story. grandma was stand. <laughs> so so maybe we can put in a little bit of time. Tell us a little bit about this book. Yes. Grandma, what yes. is she doing in this book? Okay, so the star of grandma's list is our character Fatima. Okay. So Fatima is eight and a half, but everybody keeps treating her like she's still very young. Okay. Maybe we and can just put this whilst you talk yes. about the story. I believe this is Fatima. That's Fatima. Okay, then maybe so perhaps we can... Yes, look at ahead. the images. So Fatima um, wants to show her family that she's not a little girl. Okay. So she goes to grandma and she says, grandma, let me help you with some list. I want to be your superwoman. And grandma's like, mm, are you sure you can handle this? Fatima says, yes, okay. I can. I'm eight and a half.
Grandma gives her a list of errands and Fatima is over excited okay. um, to try and achieve this. So she runs all the way through the town mm -hmm. to the shop. And when she gets to the shop, she looks into so her pockets. So that's Fatima in the shop. Fatima. She looks into her pockets and, and there's then no list. there's no money. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's no, no list. list. She has the money, but she doesn't have the list. So she doesn't know what to do. Okay. <laughs> so the shopkeeper says, you must go back home okay. for another list. And she says, no, they're going to definitely think I'm a kid if I do that. Okay. I'll figure it out. Okay. So she figures it out and she runs the errands and she goes back home. And on, on the list of on the list were some errands that she had to tell grandpa to do, her sister Agnes, her uncle dad. So she does all of that. So a couple of hours later it's Jenna time. And Fatima is so excited for the family to see what she's done. So the so, rest of the story It's tells in the book. Us, yeah. Okay. I was trying to smuggle it through <laughs> smuggle it through the camera for uh, viewers to see. Well, I mean, I'm just showing you these visuals so you know that you, these are things that you can relate to. And even if you live in a suburban area where you may not find a chicken by grandpa like that in the book, <laughs> you will still uh, be able to bring your children up to speed as to how it looks like. It's certainly something that you can relate to. In, in Ghana and other African countries, we have large families. It's not just mom, dad, and children. So you see that large family there. So this is grandma's uh, list. Yes. Okay. Interesting book written by someone from Tamale. From Tamale. A, a woman? Dairy. Yes. Posha Dairy. Posha Dairy. Yes. How old is she? Posha is in her 20s. Wow. Yeah. Amazing yeah. stuff. This is a beautiful yeah. book. And this yeah. is Duo. Yeah. So this is the Daring Duo and Amongst at Midnight. So these okay. are targeting ages probably between 9 to 11, 12, mm -hmm. depending on reading levels. But both of these stories are adventure stories, incredibly fun, following characters who do things they didn't think okay. were they possible. Yeah. Ah, possibilities. Yeah. Very interesting. Congratulations once Thank again. You so, so much. this award, what does it come with? And going forward, what are the what prospects? What does it mean? It's such an honor. It's it's you know it's probably the biggest honor of our career. We're being recognized by His Highness the Aga Khan and the Government of Canada. And on the short list um, that they select, I think there were like ten organizations, mm -hmm. and we were I was the only individual who was being recognized for my contribution to a more inclusive world. So for us to win in the whole world is, is, is just such it's a big it's, it's a big a deal. Big deal. And, and so for us, what that means is that. You know, we're able to put a bigger spotlight on the work that we've been mm. doing. Our mm. work changes lives. Our work touches people. Um, but we are, we're a small team. We're a small organization. So okay. hopefully we can leverage um, this opportunity to really reach more children with books, which is our goal. And these books, like she said, they are all over the place. Yes. Uh, you, you mentioned the Methodist Depot. The Methodist Book Depot is our big distributor now, so you can find it there. We are in EPP at Legon. We are at Vidya Bookstore, as well as the African Region Shop and the Wild Gecko in Accra and also at the airport. Okay. And are there books for older people? These are for children, right? Yes. Are there books for older people which resonate with, uh, you know, uh, African uh, readers? No, we are children's book publishers. Children's so book publishers. we want to focus there. Okay, that's um, fine. And, I mean, we are still very young, so these are the first few titles we've done. Okay. We have a couple more in production, so um, next year and onward. Okay. And, and one of our big things now is that we're looking to scale through partnerships. We believe very much in partnerships, and we want these books to get to children everywhere. Clearly, we can't do that, so we need more hands, more legs, people who are interested in being distributors, mm. schools who want to stock them in libraries. I'm so passionate about school libraries because okay. not everybody might be able to afford a book, but everybody should have a book. So how many school libraries can we challenge to stock this? How many corporates can we challenge mm -hmm. to buy culturally relevant books um, yeah. for, for schools so that many children can have them? So um, in the next year and beyond, I think um, the Ghanaian public can look to hear more mm -hmm. about us, hear more from right. us. I mean, I'd love to stories. read this book to any um, group of school children. I think we, we can talk about that maybe yeah, later. Yeah, I would know, love that. Because I've, I've just fallen in love with the oh, book, yeah. uh, especially Grandma's List, <laughs> written by a, a young lady in, in um, uh, Tamale. And I would love to meet this lady yes. if that's uh, possible as well. Yes. But I think we sh you should have more of this conversation um, here so on the much. polls. Encourage our children to read, read books that resonate with them, that resonate with their culture. 
uh, just so they don't forget it. So this must be on Amazon online, you know, it for is. people. Yes, we have an online shop. People can order internationally. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Is there anything else you want um, to add? Yeah. No. Thank you for thank you for okay. having us. And um, when when you buy this book and the children love it, let us know because that's one of our biggest joys to know that we're really okay. And it's not expensive. This is twenty CDs. That's twenty CDs and that's thirty CDs. So twenty CDs for these ones yes. and grandma's list, which I'll recommend. Uh, for everybody is uh, 30 cities yes. and you're also doing this in collaboration with other writers across Africa exactly. so there's the South African as well who's exactly. writing etc exactly. so yeah I mean it's pretty much a, a mixed up uh, culture we just need to share it all over thank, thank you. you very much for coming thank Deborah well. I'm really proud of you congratulations thank, thank you Deborah much. Hinkra there she's just uh, won the global pluralism awards is it okay and mm. um, it's for their books that portray a typical African society and they want it because they 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 they're seen to be promoting an inclusive society. Congratulations once thank again. Thank you, thank you so much.